welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess from Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to be talking about our astro and intuitive forecast for the week of August 20th, 2018. This week is so very special and it's because on Sunday, Jupiter, the planet of abundance and expansion, met with Neptune, the planet of illusion and fantasy. Now, Neptune gets the worst reputation for being so ethereal, so dreamy, so romantic. The rest of the world looks at Neptune and says, get your head out of the clouds. That can't happen. That's not real. But Neptune understands that anything is possible, especially when you're moving from your heart, your soul, and your spirit. What may not happen for other people could absolutely happen for you. And we don't all have the same path. Sometimes we look at other people and we say how wonderful and magical their lives are. Hello? Hi, sorry about that guys. So that right there just kind of proved my point. That phone call that just came in was pretty much something that I've been wanting and waiting for for quite a long time and I'm watching the pieces of this fall together. This is because Jupiter and Trine this is because Jupiter and Neptune are coming together in order to help things to come to fruition. Neptune rules the energy of Pisces and the two of them together, they're working to kind of allow you to see your vision, literally see your vision with your third eye and to not only see it, but to feel it within your heart and then to be navigated and guided. What is your path and what is destined for you is not destined for everyone and it's not for everyone to understand the way that you need to go and the way that you need to walk. Jupiter is the planet of abundance, expansion, and growth, and is working to kind of expand and bring opportunities in your life. These aren't just any opportunities though, because Jupiter is sitting in the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio is very, very intense, very passionate, and wants you to have the core of what has the most value for you. Just you though. It's not factoring in anyone else's opinions, it's factoring what is for your highest and greatest good. Scorpio never works with anything that is superficial. It always wants to dive into the meat of the substance of what is ultimately going to make your life experience something that is of value. Scorpio, again, is known for its passion. So no matter what your sign, Scorpio is going to trigger these feelings. Why feelings? Because Scorpio is connected to water and water rules our emotion and our intuition. When these two planets are moving in their transit, they see each other, they lock eye to eye, and they say, ah, oh, let's work together. And that's exactly what it is that they do. So Jupiter's gifts and skills merge and mesh really well with Neptune's gifts and skills, and that's what is happening within this trine. The two say, let's connect the vision with the growth, and let's make it happen, let's make it possible. Now luckily for us, these planets move very, very slowly, thank God. Because what ends up happening here is that during the eclipses and during the retrogrades, I know so many of you guys are exhausted, but what happens is because they're moving so slowly, their impact and their influence is felt for and covering a longer distance of time, a longer period of time. So for this week, this influence started around August 19th, but we're gonna feel it until September 23rd. I'm gonna link somewhere around, or down at least in the description box, the details, the further details of the Jupiter uh, uh, Neptune trine, so you guys can go ahead and gain all that knowledge and eat it up. But for now, let's go ahead and move forward with the rest of the week and what it is that I see for us. So the sun rules our life energy and also our focus, and the sun has recently been moving through the sign of Leo. Now, I have no hate towards Leo, but everything comes in its own little season, and when that season passes, I'm ready to move on to the next thing. So what happened is, is that when the sun was moving through the sign of Leo, things were a lot more expressive and bold and in your face because so many people are moving from their heart. I love that. But now that you've taken the time in order to connect with the desires of your heart, it's now time to make a plan, to implement a plan of action. That's what's going to happen when the sun moves out of the sign of Leo and then into the sign of Virgo, the sign of the perfectionist and also the sign of Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Virgo is known for being so practical and having this realistic approach to certain things and also paying attention to detail. This is some of the energy that you wanna kind of incorporate in the next next uh, 28 to 30 days moving ahead. I love this because this is an opportunity for the majority of us to kind of perfect 
the things that it is that we've already kind of set into motion, including ourselves. Now, the one common thing that we see and that people think when they see um, Virgo energy is that Virgo is going to come in and nitpick at things, and that's not the intention of Virgo at all. And I wanna go ahead and cancel those rumors. That doesn't exist. Rumors, you're canceled. Virgo is better than that. Virgo is not trying to come in and nitpick at anyone or anything, but what it will do is have this like hyper focus that picks up and, and pings in and says, oop, this needs to be adjusted. So then it comes in and tweaks it just a little bit, like a little screw on the, on the bottom of an office chair that's wiggling when you sit in it every single time, and it kind of tightens that screw. So then when you are actually sitting down to be productive, you're not wiggling around all over the place and you're gonna feel like you're gonna fall or at least your foundation is not stable. Now that is a really random example, but I feel like it's a good example and a metaphor for what Virgo is going to bring in your life. So what you wanna do is when the sun moves into the sign of Virgo, is start to tighten those screws of your life to make sure that the foundation of them is firm so that you feel strong, so that you feel supported, so that you feel healthy and vibrant. For many of you, I I can see this trickling into your diet and your lifestyle. So I can see some of you guys stepping out and going, stepping out of a space of play and now thinking about health and vitality. So I'm seeing yoga, I'm seeing new lifestyle changes, going to Whole Foods or other places and saving a buck, clipping coupons, but also eating healthy and incorporating that idea into your life now if you haven't already. I can also see many of you going in and cleansing and purifying and purging certain areas of of your life, for example, maybe going in and wiping out your closet and cleansing your closet, especially after many of you guys listened to my advice when I said that when Mercury was retrograde, which now he's direct, but when he was retrograde, go and thrift and um, see what treasures you can find, but also while you're thrifting, purge and cleanse your closet. This is an amazing time to do that, is to revisit during the Mercury retrograde phase and Mercury retrograde period to, to purge and to release anything that doesn't serve you anymore. For everything from uh, relationships and people to objects that are actually clogging up your, your sacred space and your home. So now that the sun is moving in, into the sign of Virgo on Thursday the 23rd, yes, and Mercury is also direct, and Mercury actually rules the energy of Virgo. What we're seeing is a step forward and actually progress being made when it comes to living a life that is more whole and also holistic. Now, when the sun was moving through the sign of Leo, we couldn't help ourselves. So many of us found ourselves going out to like summer festivals and doing different events and activities because Leo energy loves fun, it loves friends, it loves creative creativity, it loves dating. But now that the sun is moving in the sign of Virgo, we start to buckle down and we start to, to pull out our pens, our notepads, and put our head down to our desk and start to focus on the things that are really, truly important to us. Again, with this Jupiter trine Neptune aspect that's happening with in the stars, you cannot have, you can have the dream, but you can't have the dream manifest itself if you're not doing the work in order to help it to come to fruition. And as the sun is moving through the sign of Virgo starting on Thursday, this is when you are able to actually start signing documents and implementing uh, uh, what you need to do in order to help it to, to happen. It comes with perfect timing because now Mercury is actually direct. So if there are things that you need to sign on, if there's uh, contracts that you need to agree with, if there's documents that need to be signed, Mercury is now becoming stronger and strong and says, yes, go ahead, do it. Don't forget though that Mars is also still retrograde. So Mars is saying like, look, if you have a hesitation, if you have a block, if there is resistance, I still need you to kind of fall back and allow things things to fall forward and fall each step of the way. But until then, take that dream, make a plan, and let's set it into motion because a lot of the doors are starting to open, especially now that Jupiter is direct. Now, for those of you guys who are having a hard time follow, following along, I get it. I'm throwing a lot of information in at you in a small amount of time. So Mercury just recently went direct and Jupiter just went recently direct. Both of these planets are working to help to open the doors for you. And those doors in particular are connected to your hopes, your dreams, and your happily ever after. This vision that you have for yourself. This vision is your dream and yours alone. So you can make it whatever it is that you want and honor your heart 
by speaking it into existence, by giving a voice to it, and by entertaining the idea that maybe, just maybe, this could really happen. Speaking of these things actually happening on Saturday, oh my gosh, finally, sun moving through the sign of Virgo sees Saturn, the planet of commitment, maturity, and responsibility, and Uranus, the planet of surprise, and then it starts to brew this like perfect storm. This is when you're feeling strong, you're feeling vital, you're feeling spontaneous, and there's something that is coming in on the horizon around this day or the days to come especially with the new moon I'm sorry with the full moon that's happening in the sign of Pisces which is directly opposite of Virgo so what happens during these these moons is it almost acts like this stamp and this stamp kind of comes in and punches on paper this image of what is happening within the stars and that image maps all of what's to happen for our future for my future for all of our futures so if we have the sun trining saturn and the sun trining uranus at the same time what we have is this spontaneous surprise and unexpected developments that are concrete enough for us to build a firm foundation that is connected to our hopes and our dreams and also to take those plans to the next level do you see how all of the pieces fall together it is too good. It is so good. This is the week, honestly, where I can see dreams coming true. And to make matters even more perfect, on Monday, after the full moon, in the sign of Pisces, and I love the energy of Pisces, of course I do, because I'm a Virgo, but on Monday, Mars, the planet of drive, ambition, and passion, finally moves direct in the sign of Capricorn. And that is going to be like, <laughs> It's like the Golden Gates swing open even more. Well, they have been swung open after Jupiter went direct, and then all of a sudden, we can just kind of go forward. We can blast forward. We don't have to look for red signs. There's no yield signs that are saying, yo, slow down. The road is slippery when wet. We're just hitting that gas, and we just go. This is perfect because I don't know about you guys, but I am ready to coast. I am definitely ready to coast. I've been doing a lot on my end to perfect and to uh, streamline and to change myself and to be open to what the universe has been trying to teach me. A lot of the, the challenges have all been there to help me to grow and to become more aware. And if it wasn't for that challenge, I wouldn't know. And if I didn't know, then I wouldn't be able to do better. When you know better, you do better. So during these retrograde moments and these uh, eclipses, all this has been really frustrating and exhausting for so many of us. And I know you guys are feeling beat up, but I can honestly tell you that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And whenever you see complications and resistance that's happening within the cosmos, what you should see is the opportunity within that to kind of let go and to have a little bit more faith. But also the universe never really throws all of this negativity at one moment, there's always one golden something that is working on your behalf and my behalf. And in this case, it's Jupiter, Trine, Neptune that gets the ball rolling and the rest of these planets, Sun moving into the sign of Virgo and then also Mars going uh, direct that's when they kind of like follow behind, following the footsteps of Jupiter, Trine, Neptune. So this week is going to be absolutely stunning. I really want to encourage you to check your chart to see what Jupiter rules within your chart and also what Neptune rules within your chart, where Jupiter and Neptune are currently placed, where the sun is placed and also where Mars is, is placed. Mars is falling in the sign of Capricorn, so see what house Capricorn rules. Jupiter falls in the sign of Scorpio, so see what Scorpio rules, what house Scorpio rules. Neptune is falling in the sign of Pisces so see what house Pisces rules and also the Sun is moving into the sign of Virgo so see what house Virgo rules and that's where we're gonna start to see some of these doors kind of opening now before you ask me Jess, where can I get my chart pulled? Number one, I'm all booked up at the time of me filming this. I'm all booked up for readings until January 2019. But you can use astro.com in order to put in your details and pull the chart up in order for you to see where the planets are currently transiting your chart at this moment at in time. All right, you guys, so all in all, this week seems to be absolutely amazing. I'm here for it. I'm excited for it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing, and thank you for your comments. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.